you know what Garba is? No, I don't. Okay. Educate me. Well, let them educate <laughs> me because I, I would probably say the wrong thing. But it's, 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 I know it's an event that Yui has um, right. every year. And, you know, it's always fun. It's a dance that people do. So we're going to yeah. find out about that. My guests, uh, I have Vandana, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darian uh, Budram, yeah. and uh, Karishma Priya Bida. Good morning, ladies Good morning. and gentlemen. Good Welcome morning. to town. Uh, there's so many names to remember there, you know, <laughs> and I was trying to make sure we should just remember it. Focus, focus. Don't worry, you got this right. You see, there you go. <laughs> so, Garba, what, what, is, what is Garba really? Garba is considered, a, it's a dance, it's a Garba and Dandia Ras, and it's two different types of dances, uh -huh. and it's done during the period of Noratam. And as you may know, Noratam has started on the 5th, mm -hmm. and it will end on the 13th. And it c it's a dance that is done around Mother Durga. Uh -huh. The Dandia Ras is done with sticks around the Murthy. Uh -huh. And the Dandia Ras is a hand dance. And the Garba right. is a hand uh, dance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so a lot to addition to what she said as well, it actually symbolizes uh, good over evil. Uh -huh. And it's actually with the sticks, the sticks represents the sword which indicates a battle between goddess Durga and um, Mahishasura, which is a demon. So in that altercation, the sticks represent the sword, which would make the clashing sound. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a worship through the dance to celebrate good over evil. Right, and, and we're going to have a little demonstration in a little <laughs> bit. I'm not going to do it. I actually did it for a few years at UWE because I know tomorrow evening, yes. Yes. UWE is yeah. having that event. 6 p. At 6 p.m., yeah. yeah. What is the purpose of this? Why, why do you all do it at UWE? We do it mainly to carry on the tradition because this is this will be the twelfth year of Garba. As you may know, the UE Hindu Society has been around for seventy six mm -hmm. years. And the first Garba was held in two thousand and three. Mm -hmm. So it's something that brings the UE Hindu Society together and as well as all the other cultures around uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, Darren, you're a member of the Hindu Society yes. as well. Uh, wh what do you expect this event to do? Um well I think uh, raise cultural appreciation within the university, as well as uh, teach people of different back ethnicity backgrounds um, something about Hinduism and to appreciate their art forms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and to just tell me quickly, Hindu society, how long has it been around? 76 years. 76 years. And yeah. where do you see the Hindu society going from here? Well, honestly, um, mm. we try to uh, encourage not only university students, but the public as well to engage in mm -hmm. events that we have. So we try to make it a better society by not only involving our ideas alone, but valuing the public's opinion yeah. and involving them as well. And, and for more information, you can check out the UE Hindu Society's Facebook page, UE Hindu Society. Yes. yes. Yeah, for more information. Okay, so we've been talking about Garba <laughs> and this dance. So we have two, two guests with us this morning who are going to, to show us the steps. Now, I did it uh, a, a few times, so you can come here. And, and you did and it well. And I like of course know. I did it well. I'm a <laughs> professional dancer, <laughs> right? So I did it. And, and Friday, I'll be going to do yes, it again. Love uh, but here. let me not show people on TV my level of skill. I don't <laughs> want to put anybody to shame. So um, let these two dancers show us what to do. All right? So while they do that, is it's a form of stick fighting. Yeah, so yes. you hear the clashing of the swords within the battle between Goddess Durga and the demon Mahishasur. And, and they're not hitting each other. No. Oh, you're trying not to hit <laughs> yeah, each other. Exactly, you're trying try not to hit not each other. To. But it's a lot of fun. Like for the previous yes. years that I've seen it, um, we've had a hundred students uh, come yeah. out to, to be part to of this. And also the, the public. And UE is one of the very few places in Trinidad that celebrates Garba on such a large scale. And mm -hmm. we are very proud of that. Yeah. yeah. And is it a free event or it's yeah a it's free, free. free yeah. Um, and, and, is free. and the sticks do people get the sticks there or? yeah the sticks will be rented at ten dollars a pair so you can get those at the door at the door yeah, yeah. all right what time does it start it starts six at six p. six p.m six p.m um well this is tentative <laughs> but around, <laughs> around nine p.m yeah uh, all right so it's, it's tomorrow evening six p.m yeah. to ten p.m remember it's at the auditorium gfk auditorium at the university of the west indies you can go out to go on to the ue um, Hindu Society's Facebook page and get more information. I'm going to leave these two <laughs> to stick dance uh, <laughs> as we go to the break. All right? Thank you very much for coming and joining us. Thank you for having us. All right? <laughs> Clash. <laughs>